Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller. Welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Ah, uh, folks, it is going to be an interesting day to say the least. Interesting is kind of this vague term, but at the very least, I hope that it's not a boring day. I hope that today is interesting. I've got a few things I gotta do today. I have to catch a bunch of bugs, I have to catch a bunch of fish, we'll see on the deep sea creature front, and then I gotta tap in my Sanrio amiibo card again, because I'm trying to have a Sanrio-based character move into my island, and I tapped in his amiibo card for the first time yesterday, and apparently if I tap in his card today and tomorrow, this character will finally move onto my island, which will be perfect! I will get one more villager onto my island just in time for this series to end, but at least it allows me to showcase the process of having a villager move onto my island in the first place, so I can say that I did it. And it's a Sanrio character, so there's like exclusivity there or something. Anyway, I'm still wearing this Hello Kitty Mario attire. Hello, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Hello, this is Tommy. Yes, 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 yes. All right, 68,000 bells. Don't mind if I do. All right. Well, first things first, I am going to check my mailbox because I ordered a bunch of this Kero Kero Kuropi stuff, Kuropi, because I tapped this Sanrio Amiibo card and now I have access to order all this stuff in the mail. So I will do that. We're gonna see if any of it will look good on my island. And then, Wendy, I'm sure this is a very nice letter. I thank you for the gift. I have to throw your letter away so as to save space in my mailbox. All right, we're good. All right, so let's actually see what I got here. So we got the Kero Karapi wall. We got the Kero Kero Karapi floor and Kero Kero Karapi rug. The Kero Kero Karapi bridge. And the Kero Kero Karapi... Oh, well, we got something from Wendy. Okay, an umbrella. And then the Kero Kero Karapi hallway. All right, what's the umbrella? A logo umbrella. Hey, that's pretty good. I do like things with logos on them, but for now, I don't need that. I need, to, I need to catch this bug, and then I need to write down the quotas I wish to reach today because I I write down the amount of bugs I try to catch. So I'm trying to catch 40 bugs a day. So if I were to catch 40 bugs from here, that would put me at 4981. Oh, I'm so close. Maybe I can knock that out today. Also, Flick is here. Hey, man. Well, maybe today is the day. Maybe today is the day where I finally finish up the bug catching stuff for this series. Because if I were to catch 40 bugs, it would put me at 4981. But if I were to catch 19 bugs beyond that, I would finally be at 5,000 total caught bugs. So maybe. All right. Well, I did want to see how a lot of this stuff looks, but I'm going to just go ahead and put it away. It's all based on frog stuff. Based on that Sanrio frog character. I'm gonna put it away for now, and then no, I actually I, I don't want to equip that. I want to put that in storage, and then all right, I gotta get three bugs out, three bugs that Flick will borrow so that he can make a model of something. So let me see here. We need, well, I need bugs. Hang on. Okay, okay. So I've got a couple options. I can do the ladybug. I can do. I know I had other options. I only have one walking leaf. Uh, a walking leaf or a walking stick might have been nice. I got I got plenty of fish. Oh, moths, yeah. I should do a moth model. I have three moths. Moths have helped me plenty when it comes to trying to catch 5,000 total caught bugs in this series. Especially when I'm playing at nighttime, which is the only time when bugs will spawn in this game. Oh, they have been day savers. Well, Flick, if you're willing to take these moths and make a model for me, I will gladly put that model over on my little bug trophy garden area area all right here we go oh flick maybe because you're here maybe I will just finish up the bug catching quota or not just the quota but just the bug catching in this series in general after today I I could make it so that I never have a reason to catch another bug ever again I mean I am currently holding my gold net maybe flick Maybe. For now, I am looking forward to that moth model, and I am looking forward to placing said moth model on a specific part of my island. Oh, well, there is a butterfly right here. Oh, there's a couple butterflies. All right. Well, let's knock these out. The more butterflies I catch now, the less I have to rely on my little ant spawning trick. Here we go. Let's try this. Hey. And then, Carlos, you might want to watch out. Just the other day you were standing here in the resident services plaza and I almost whacked you with my net in a desperate attempt to try and catch a bug. So, you know, I, you, you're probably going to leave soon because I'm going to replace you with my Sanrio amiibo character. Which, by the way, I still got to scan him in for the day. Alright, well let me just catch these butterflies first. 
All right. Get a few extra bugs. Make future days easier. All right. And then... And then, and then, and then... All right. Oh, th th there's a mantis. All right. Let me, get, let me get the mantis. It seems as though it is going to rain on my island soon. So I have to catch as many bugs as I can before that happens. Because once it starts raining, then I'm in trouble. Then bugs won't spawn as frequently. So I just gotta get whatever I can now. If I can at least fulfill the quota, that would be great. If I knock out the bug catching stuff in general today, that's even better. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. The whole point of this series is to focus on the now and sometimes plan ahead. I mean, I'm planning ahead because I'm going to be getting a moth model. And I shall soon be getting the Sanrio amiibo character moving into my island. For now, let me grab my card here. Alright, I do want to scan this amiibo. Yes, I would like to do that. Alright, so, use this. Scan him in. That's Toby's amiibo! Would you like to invite him to the campsite? Yes, please! Invite him back over. Day two of me scanning in Toby's amiibo. Hello, my man! Toby, guten tag! That's French for good tag. So, what's going on, Ribbit? Wow, an exclusive invitation to the fabulous campsite! I'm honored! Please accept my acceptance! Just give me a few minutes to alert the paparazzi, okay? Great. So he'll be back at my campsite, but because this is the second day in a row in which he'll be there, something different might happen. I don't think I need to do anything else with this machine. I am, I think I'm good. All right. Showcasing that amiibo compatibility. We're gonna make it work. Here we go, and then he'll be able to move in just in time for... Like, one more multiplayer video in this series or something. Alright, but now he's at the campsite. So, if I may, please let me tend to this real quickly. Let me see what's going on. Let me talk to him, see if he has any interest in moving here. And then I will resume my bug catching and fishing obligations for the day. Hey, man. What you got here? Hey, glad to be here. Where am I? You're back on Aquanet. You were here before. Why don't we make something Aquanet themed, like an acoustic guitar? Okay. Is that the idea? I have to craft you something, and then if I craft it for you, it'll be like, Oh, this is so cool, now I don't want to leave. Alright, an acoustic guitar, Toby, I can make that for you. I've crafted one of those items before, I imagine I can craft it again. And I imagine you would not ask me to craft an item that I do not know the recipe for. And chances are, if I know the recipe for it, I've crafted it. Because I've almost crafted every single item I have the recipe for in the game. I'm missing, like, one holiday item, but that's beside the point. Alright, so we need the acoustic guitar right there. Just some softwood and some iron nuggets. Easy peasy. And it counts as me crafting another piece of furniture. So that's very handy indeed. Alright, my good man, Toby. I'm gonna give this to you. Here's a souvenir. Oh, you know, to be fair, you are in front of my musical instrument stall. So I guess it would make sense that you would take particular interest into a musical instrument. Alright, Toby, here you go. Here is your acoustic guitar, sir. Alright, right there. You can have this. Enjoy it. Awesome. Alrighty, there you go, there you go, there you go. It's a de detective hat. Thanks. I will take that. I hope you don't mind if I maintain this Hello Kitty hat on my head for a little while longer. But thank you, Toby! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alright. Here we go then! I'm all set, I'm good to go. I'm ready to resume my bug catching duties. Let's see if there are any ants currently on the island. There are not! Darn it! Swung my net at nothing! I was so ready for there to be ants, and alas, there were no ants. Well darn it, how's a guy like me supposed to get 40 bugs with relative ease if I can't use my own ant spawning trick? I mean, maybe I could still use it. But for the time being, I shall catch the five wasps that are guaranteed to spawn on my island, and wasps will not spawn in trees that already have stuff on them, like eggs or fruit. So all these ones that have these bunny day eggs on them, nah, we're gonna skip those. But this, now that's a wasp. I will take that. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so that's all set. We're one bug closer. Catching those butterflies earlier certainly helped. Let's get these wasps, and then we'll see if I can make ants spawn. Let's see, here we go. So we do, boom. I will gladly take that. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Bada bing, bada boom. Any other bugs just want to hover around these flowers? No? Okay. I'm willing to bet you that this tree would give me wasps if I moved these mums out of the way. So let me see. Oh, well. I see that butterfly down there. I will I will get that first. 
Just saw it. There it is. All right. All right. All right. There we go. One bug closer. Catch the butterflies while I can because I, I really have a sinking suspicion that it's going to rain today. And there we go. There are the wasps. My suspicions about the wasp and the mums were correct. All right. Let's take that. I don't really want to sell the purple mums, but I guess I will event. I'll, I'll, I'll basically wind up selling all the flowers that are here at some point anyway, so whatever. Even though purple mums are hard to get them, the white mums. My flower population right here is out of control. Perhaps what I could do... No, doesn't matter. I'm not organizing my mums today, so it, it does not matter. Tybalt, you are standing in a very unusual position on my island. I mean, it's fine. You can access that place without a ladder. I just... I gotta say, it's catching me off guard that you're standing there right now. And now you're going around the back. All right, well, enjoy yourself. Okay. I caught my wasps. I'm content with that. I need to... Well, I mean, I, I gotta do a lot of stuff. I gotta catch bugs. I gotta catch fish. I gotta just catch everything. I caught all five wasps. Yeah, all right. Well, I would like a few extra tree branches if need be. And I did catch this extra butterfly. So we're, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. I've caught at least ten bugs today. That's at least a quarter of the quota that I set, and, you know, as I said at the beginning of the video, if I do the quota, I would only have 19 more bugs to catch today. So that's very good. What I should probably do now is I should probably sell these bugs, clear up my inventory, and then move on to the next task for the day, which is, well, catching more bugs, but also catching some fish, and then rambling on about some random topic. Here we go, now there are ants. ANTS! But yeah, I gotta find some random topic to ramble about so I can distract myself. And the next thing I know, the hour of gameplay for today's Animal Crossing video will be over and I'll have caught like 3,000 bugs. Actually, no, I'll have caught 5,000 bugs because the bug catching quota might just end today. Probably not. Probably not. I'm kind of... I would like for it to end today, but I've been catching bugs rather slowly. We'll see how much I have to do my ant spawning trick. I don't know. But for now... Let me clear this inventory, and I am going to sell the detective hat. Sorry, Toby. I hope you like your acoustic guitar, but I have no need for a detective hat right now, especially since I'm celebrating with this Hello Kitty hat. All right, as for this, I got some extra Nook Miles. That's handy, I suppose, in case my friends need additional Nook Miles tickets in the future. All right, whoa. I, like, drifted there. That was, that was crazy. That was neat. All righty. Hey, another, oh, another couple butterflies. All right, hang on. Hang on. I'm loving all these bugs that are appearing right now. Uh, this is this is making things much much easier all right and then what about this butterfly come here come to me thank you all right guys we are doing it it's all coming together now what i need is this document stack i think i am just going to do my ant spawning trick for the day and i'm going to try my darndest to catch as many bugs as i can before the rain starts falling i mean because look at the sky it's gonna rain but in case you folks are unfamiliar with my ant spawning trick, here's how it works. I go over... Oh, I scared another bug away. That's okay. I go over to a part of my island that has ants, like here. Ants! You make the ants appear because you have some spoiled turnips. And then, just barely off the screen... I, I had a Nook Miles achievement specifically for catching an ant, and I didn't even notice until just now. Well, great. All right. Well, just barely off the screen, I have this DIY station here. And every time I craft an item, my game kind of refreshes itself. So I take my, I take my scattered paper, or I take my document stack, I craft it into scattered papers, that counts as crafting an item, it refreshes the game a little bit, I back out of here, and then I go back over and check on my ants, and boom, what do you know, there are absolutely no ants, and sometimes that happens, it's not a guarantee that it'll make the bugs spawn, but it's usually pretty surefire, so let me try this again. If nothing else, it's an excuse to craft more furniture, which assists me with another Nook Miles achievement I've been trying to knock out. So there, I craft another item. And now there are ants! Alright, good. Nice to know that this process still works. Wouldn't be too surprised if Nintendo decided to patch this out. But I'm not like, is it, does this count as an exploit? I mean, it kind of does. I'm forcing ants to spawn. Whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to craft these back and forth. I'm going to catch some ants. And I'm going to do this. Until at the very least, my quota for catching bugs today is done. Until at the very least, I've caught 40 bugs for the day. Oh, I got nervous for a second. I was afraid they didn't spawn. They're spawning over to the left now because I got rid of all the trash that was over there. Because ants can only spawn where there's an open area because they have to climb into an ant hole. And it's psyching me out that there are now ant holes on the left side because there's nothing to block them now. 
All right, anyway, get ready for a bunch of this. Get ready for the next 45 minutes of this video to just be me doing this. Crafting document stacks and scattered papers back and forth while I force ants to spawn and then I catch them with my handy dandy gold net. And at some point, this gold net is going to break. Even though this gold net can catch a bunch of bugs before it breaks. I mean, I used it a little bit yesterday. I'm using it today. If I do plan on getting my 5,000th bug today, it'll definitely break. But let's see what I can do. Let's keep crafting. And I suppose I've stalled long enough. Now's the time where I suppose I should be rambling about a topic while I craft these items and catch these bugs. Darn it, I was hoping I could catch another bug and stall myself for a little longer, but that's fine. All right, so what do I want to discuss today? Hmm. Well, I know something I can discuss. My video production schedule, namely my upload schedule. It has been out of whack as of late. Some of you might have no idea what I'm talking about, and some of you may have complete idea as to what I'm talking about. So here's the thing. I make YouTube videos. You guys know I try to record Animal Crossing for an hour every single day. Alright, I've been doing this for 350 plus days now. We're nearing the end. So, with that said, what some people might not know is that it is my intention with my video upload schedule to upload walkthrough videos on the weekdays and online multiplayer matches on the weekends. That was my organized video schedule. I was supposed to do daily videos. And the idea was that I'd play some sort of main game, some sort of big walkthrough. I guess it didn't have to be a big walkthrough, but I'd play some sort of main game on my channel. So the example I used back in the day was I played Sonic Rush. I did a walkthrough of Sonic Rush. All right, Sonic the Hedgehog game for the Nintendo DS. Great game. Did a walkthrough of that game, and I would show people how to beat that game. And so every day, or every weekday, I would post a video of myself trying to complete, trying to do a walkthrough of Sonic Rush, and then... I would devote the weekends to doing multiplayer matches. So games like Mario Kart, Splatoon 2, Pokemon, Super Smash Brothers, all that stuff. That's what I, that was my goal. Walkthroughs on the weekdays, multiplayer stuff on the weekends, and then I'd have whatever Wednesday videos in the middle. And whatever Wednesday videos could be whatever I want. Well, that was my schedule that I set into place ever since 2014. And... Within the past two, three years, I've had a difficult time committing to that schedule. Here we are in 2021, and I've done hardly anything related to that schedule, and I have nobody to blame but myself, and I added a daily Animal Crossing New Horizon series to that mix. And it's important to distinguish the fact that this is not a walkthrough. All right, I, although I have some tips and tricks that I've demonstrated throughout the course of this series, I do not consider my Animal Crossing New Horizons daily gameplay video series to be a walkthrough. And for that reason, uh, I kind of just don't really have an exact schedule for it. It just kind of gets uploaded when the videos are done. Chances are, if you're seeing this video, it's probably a couple of days, if not weeks late. When this game first came out, I was I like to think I was pretty fast at getting my videos out a couple hours after I recorded them. And I, I'm, I'm falling behind now. Again, nobody to blame but myself. And it's, it's not like it's a tough series to edit. I mean, think about what you're listening to right now. You're just hearing me ramble. I am, I am crafting stuff and catching ants. And I am rambling about my video schedule. And that's, that's a video. You know, it's not editing intense. Not in, not in the slightest. It is an excuse for me to do something. But it is also just something I added to my schedule. And the idea was that I was still going to try to do walkthroughs and online multiplayer matches. I was still going to do all that. Animal Crossing videos were just going to be uploaded alongside that. I was basically going to try to do two videos a day. All the while editing for other channels and working on these bigger projects in the background. And obviously, yeah, it was a lot. But, you know, I like to work on a lot of things because that way when I get the, a lot of things done, I feel like an accomplished person and I can rest easy at night whenever I do go to sleep because I tend to stay up late these days. But that was the idea, is that I was just going to add Animal Crossing videos to it. And then I tried to do update videos and I tried to make those a little flashy and I tried to keep people posted about what my upload schedule was and how I planned to post content. And I wanted to make sure that I had something that people could always look forward to. But these days, my schedule, I, I haven't really been posting walkthroughs on the weekdays. Technically, right now, the walkthrough I'm supposed to be working on is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. That game came out back in October. And I've only posted three videos of that game. 
Most people would cancel a walkthrough like that. They fear that the game would no longer have any sort of relevancy, they fear that the game would not get too many views, and they fear that some other bigger important game would come and take its place. Look, I get all that. I do. Here's the issue. I am committed to finishing what I start. That is why I am still playing Animal Crossing New Horizons after 350 plus days. I am interested in continuing that game anyway because I enjoy its gameplay and I am curious to see how its, its story will connect with future Legend of Zelda titles. And I mean, I, I, I want a game to do a walkthrough of. I've already started Hyrule Warriors. I could drop that walkthrough and do something else, but I'm not even entirely certain what else I would record at this moment. I mean, the next game I have interest in is New Pokemon Snap. That's coming out. I'm going to do a walkthrough of that. I'm not going to do a walkthrough of Monster Hunter Rise. I know that just came out, right? That's cool. That's awesome. I'm not doing a walkthrough of that. And I'm not going to do a walkthrough of Persona 5 Strikers, even though that recently came out and its gameplay is very similar to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Nah, not interested in any of that. What I want to do is I, well, right now I want to sell my stuff. But then I want to get back into making my walkthrough videos. But what slowed me down was recording a walkthrough for Kirby Fighters 2, because that game came out of nowhere. And then I did a co-op walkthrough for Super Mario 3D World, out of nowhere. And I don't regret doing either of those things. Both things took a little longer than expected, but you know, I want to record my favorite games for my channel, and I want to do them while they're in my head. But that just meant that my walkthrough for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity got sidelined. But now that the Kirby Fighters 2 walkthrough is done, and now that the Super Mario 3D World walkthrough is mainly done, I, I, I want to do a big everything else part. So I, I have to just sit down and do that, so that's another thing on my to-do list. But once that's done, I can work on Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity again. And then I'll do like two, three more videos of that, and then new Pokemon Snap will come out. And then I'll play that, and then I'll complete that, and then I'll go back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity where it'll have even less relevance. And the thing is, this is... Th that is a terrible video production schedule to have, to spend several months trying to complete one game and you keep sidelining it because other games come out. Alright, but I, I do want to finish my walkthrough for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, both as a sense of a pride accomplishment and just as a matter of... It's a game I'd want to play anyway, and I know that if I wasn't doing a walkthrough for it, I probably would not be playing it as frequently. Darn it, no ants spawning. Alright, well, I can I can talk about this conversation for a while. So, I had a similar thing happen when The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild came out in 2017. I did a walkthrough for that game originally. I didn't think I was going to do a walkthrough for it, but I did, and it wound up taking two years because I was so busy working on other things. I even put the walkthrough on hold when Splatoon 2 came out, and I... One thing led to another, and finally I got the walkthrough done after two years. And I'm hoping, hoping the same thing doesn't happen with Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, okay? I do not want it to take two years. I just want the walkthrough to be done eventually, sooner rather than later, but I have been sidelining it due to other things. My life is way different now than when I was recording Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and that works both for and against me. I have chosen to add more things to my schedule. Hang on. How, many, how am I doing on the bugs? I shouldn't have to check. Oh, I need 23 more and I'm done. I may as well just do the 23 right- Oh no, but it's raining! Oh no! That I can't complete the quota! Well, okay, there's a butterfly here. Yeah, I'm, I'm thankful there's a butterfly there, but if it starts raining now, then I can't use- I can't do the ant spawning trick because ants don't spawn in the rain. Ugh! I caught what I could. I didn't even finish my daily quota of catching 40 bugs. I needed to get to 4981 to knock that out. Oh, frick. Well, I've got a couple of options here. Either I don't fulfill the bug catching quota today and I just move on to something else. Or I do fulfill the bug catching quota today, but I do so by using up my Nook Miles ticket. Oh, what do I want to do? What does a Yoshiller like me to do? I'm pretty dead set on trying to knock out the bug catching quota today. I mean, that was kind of my mindset. I already caught a bunch of ants. It's a little unfortunate that I couldn't just knock out everything there and then. I'll put my, my video schedule conversation on hold. I need to go to an island where bugs will spawn a plenty. Something like Damselfly Island. Something like... Well, any island with butterflies, really. Tarantula Island would be great, but it's not nighttime. And to my understanding, you can only benefit from that island in the nighttime. I mean, maybe you can go to it in the daytime, but tarantulas won't even spawn till nighttime. And chances are, I won't even be able to go to that 
island before this series comes to a close, but I promise it exists. I've seen it from my friends. Okay, here we go. I got one Nook Miles ticket and I'm using it. Let's see where we go. Don't make me have to go back and buy another Nook Miles ticket. The good news is because I'm coming here for bug catching, the island doesn't necessarily need to be flat, although it does look flat. Okay, and it's not Bamboo Island. That was that was a big thing. If I went to Bamboo Island, I don't know how many bugs would have actually spawned. Well, at least one of these trees will have wasps in it. Oh, it's the it's the Spiral Island. Okay. Well, let's see which of these trees has wasps, and then I can run around and try and catch as many bugs as I can. Book stands. I guess I can hold that for a second. All right, hang on, hang on. It's not raining here, which is good. There we go. That's the tree that has the wasps in it. All right, good. So what? I need like 21 more bugs now. Can I get 21 more bugs here? Well, not without a net, I can't. I knew my gold net was gonna break. Remember earlier when I said my gold net was probably gonna break? Well, the good news is that if I have less than 30 bugs still to catch, I only need to craft one more net in order to get that. Now, the thing is I can order a tool from you. So I figured I may as well take up this opportunity. I will order this flimsy net, I will get it, I will catch that butterfly real quickly before it escapes from my sight, and then I will upgrade this flimsy net into a regular net, and I'll be good to go. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get my net out, come on. Don't let it get away, there we go! Alright, one bug closer to completion. Very good. And now, I upgrade this flimsy net into a regular net. It's not going to be in my favorites, it's going to be in my tools. I need regular net. There we go. Good thing I've got plenty of iron nuggets. Alright! Regular net, baby! Good, good, good. Alright, can I get 20 more bugs on this island? Oh boy, I hope so. Okay, let's see. So as I was trying to say, my video schedule is out of whack, but what I'm thinking is going to happen is, once this daily Animal Crossing New Horizons series is done, I can try to try to go full force with my schedule again because really Animal Crossing came out right when I was trying to get back into doing my regular schedule Ooh, war roaches don't mind if I do there we go glad I caught one good so once Animal Crossing is done I can just do the daily schedule again of walkthroughs on weekdays multiplayer matches on weekends so we'll see how much I commit to that but I mean I won't be recording Animal Crossing every day so the hour I spend Recording Animal Crossing and the hour I spend maybe exporting and uploading the video is now two hour or well I mean the recording time is now time I can spend recording a different game such as Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity and then instead of spending my computer's exporting powers to export an Animal Crossing video I'd be exporting a Hyrule Warriors video or maybe I could have a day where I just record a bunch of multiplayer stuff like I did with Pokemon Bata a long time ago and then I could just catch up with that in the near future you know I, I have I have some options but basic, all this to say, not that Animal Crossing New Horizons messed up my schedule, because it didn't, but it, it's helping me realize that when the series is over, my schedule will open up. I don't know if it means I'll get more videos out. I mean, recording this daily series has allowed me to increase my video output, even if, even if the overall quality of my videos hasn't improved, at least the quantity has, and I've been trying to improve both. I know a lot of people always say, oh, quality over quantity, but on YouTube, you do need both. You gotta be consistent, persistent, and simplistic. Okay. Let's get some extra stuff here, huh? Just while I'm at it. And... I guess I'll take the iron nuggets and the eggs. I don't need the stones, I don't need the clay. There. Alright. I was hoping a bug would come out of that, I'll be honest with you. But no dice. Also, hang on. What I can also do... Is I can get some more wood. Because I can make a mess on this island. And... Nothing will matter. Okay, I was supposed to chop down the tree. If I chop down the tree, that'll leave a tree stump. That'll make it easier for me to see some other things, but also, it can cause certain bugs to spawn atop the tree stump, causing more bugs to spawn on the island in general, and making it easier for me to, ideally, finish all of my bug catching for the day. Come on. I'm putting in that commitment. Let me be done with the bug catching today. And because I already caught the wasps on this island, I do not need to worry about a wasp nest coming out right now and having the wasps appear and sting me. See, you can even see the wasp nest right there. It is currently inactive. Anyway, that's my goal. I don't know if I'm immediately going to kick it into gear once my Animal Crossing series comes to a close. I mean, I wanted to try and do Road to Sakurai 
every other week and that didn't happen. I wanted to try and do an update video every month. That didn't happen. But maybe those things could happen because I won't have to worry about finding time to record and upload all this. There's a ladybug back there, but if I pole vault over to it, I fear that I'm going to scare it away. At the very least, let me collect the eggs. All right. I don't. Oh, there's a couple ladybugs. All right. Well, let's see if I can get either of them. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Careful here. Get the net out. Boom. All right. One bug closer. Technically speaking, I don't even need to look at my bug catching total because it'll just blink once I've caught my 5,000th bug. So let me see what I can do. Here's another ladybug. All right. We're making progress. I think I've got about 18 bugs left to catch, which is a lot. Especially since I don't really have a way to lure in more bugs. I mean, I've got the tree stamp, the, the, the tree stumps going. I could catch fish, but I'm, I'm basically dead set on turning today's video into a bug catching video. So come on. Where are the bugs? Don't make me have to go fishing. Don't make me have to go deep sea diving. Don't you do it. No. Sea slug does not count as a bug. It counts as a deep sea creature. So don't make me go for them. Oh, what else can I do? I'm not seeing any other bugs. If there are bugs, I'm, I'm not seeing them, and I apologize for my stupidity and my poor vision. Oh, but there is a butterfly! All right, there's hope. I missed, please. All right, well, good news is if you miss a butterfly, at least it doesn't just magically disappear like some other bugs do when you miss them. Oh, why did it have to rain on my island today? Today was supposed to be my bug completion day! Ah! Well, I'm doing what I can. I mean, I hear a mole cricket. Oh, I don't want to go after a mole cricket right now. Oh, there are wharf roaches. That's so much better. All right, let's not mess this up. There we go! One bug closer, but I, I, I've i got at least 10 bugs to go, I gotta think. Yeah, it's not it's not blinking just yet. It's not gonna blink for a little while. Well, I'm doing my best, folks. I'm doing what I can. All right! Well, in the meantime... Oh, well, that, that, well, no, no, see, every time I try to continue the conversation, more bugs spawn. That's a good thing. And I can't scare that butterfly away that easily, so this is good. Thank you. Alrighty, so as I've been trying to say, I will try to get back into a regular routine where walkthroughs are posted on the weekdays, online multiplayer matches are posted on the weekends, and I do want to, like, bulk record a bunch of whatever Wednesday videos, just different things, and I want to be able to alternate between the types of whatever Wednesday videos that I do. So whether they be multiplayer videos of random games, or me doing some sort of, like, random challenge, you know, I wanted to try and do one of those quizzes where I can, where I try to see if I can name all the Pokemon. I think that'd be fun. Or, you know, maybe I'll do another video essay, like my Nintendo Switch Online in 2021 video. I, I, I want to, I want to do it all. That's the plan. I want to do it all. But for now, one thing at a time, or I mean, I say one thing at a time, even though I basically started this conversation by saying I love working on multiple things at a time. And I'm doing that. But I got to complete each task slowly but surely. Speaking of... Nine more bugs? Nine more? All right. Let's get these nine more bugs and be done with it. I thought I just saw a bug over here. I no longer see it. I am sorry if I'm an idiot and I... Nope, oh, there's a mantis here. Eight more bugs! Eight more. I'm sorry if there are bugs that I see and that I skip them. But I'm trying my best. Eight more bugs. And then I can focus on fishing and then deep sea diving and then fine-tuning my island, and then one or two more multiplayer videos, and then the end. And then the end. This was a nice little experiment. Not just in terms of, like, what could I do with an island and Animal Crossing, but a nice little experiment to see if I even could do a series where I recorded it for an hour every day. And the answer is yes. I mean, I, I could, and I did. But it's, <laughs> you know, as I've been saying throughout this whole conversation, it, it changed my video schedule a bit. It allowed me to work with some other creators, which was nice, and it allowed me to play a much more laid-back game without too much pressure, and the only pressure being to make sure that I record it every day. But otherwise, I'm not super sad to see it gone. Will I ever do another series like this in the future? I don't know. Some people are like, you should go and play the other Animal Crossing games, and to be honest, I gotta say this. You think after I played this game for an hour every single day, that my first interest would be to go do the same thing again for a different game. That's not, that's not how I function. Let me be clear. It's one thing when there's a successful movie. The movie is so successful, perhaps even more successful than you can ever envision it being, it, being right? You know, I'll use the example of the movie Frozen. 
that movie was so successful, a little too successful for its own good. But it was successful, rightfully so. And naturally, the logic would, would deem, hey, this is so successful it deserves a sequel. Because the sequel can be just as successful. Well, you know what? Frozen 2 did get a sequel. It was a bit underwhelming. And that's just how it goes sometimes. Now, I'm not saying sequels don't deserve to exist. I love sequels. I wanted sequels for things for the longest time, too. But what I'm trying to say, at least in my case here, is I'm not in a rush to do the exact same thing again. I'm in... I, I would like to do different things. Rather than make Frozen 2, I'd like to take that team and make a different animated movie. Which is also what Disney does all the time. You know, or, you know I'll, I'll use Pixar as an example. I wanted a sequel to The Incredibles for the longest time. We finally got it. It was okay. I think I had my expectations a little too high, but I think that's fair because I think the original movie of The Incredibles is fantastic. I didn't really know if a sequel could live up to par. I don't know. But I loved the original so much. And obviously when you love the original of something so much, you hope that a sequel to it can live up to your expectations, capture the reason why you love the original so much, and perhaps even outshine the original. And that's hard for a sequel to do. In gaming, that happens a lot. Nintendo's still been kicking butt with doing sequels. It's still crazy to me that they've been making Mario games for 35 years and they have continuously proven why Mario is the king of <laughs> is the king of video games, right? Like he Super Mario Odyssey is the most recent major Mario outing unless you want to count the port of Super Mario 3D World and Super Mario Odyssey is is still it's a new game, right? But it can be a contender for one of the greatest games of all time. That's crazy to me. <laughs> Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild also came out in 2017, and that could be a contender for one of the greatest games of all time. Anyway, here I am talking about sequels. All I want to do is catch the, what, eight bugs that I need, and I can't find a single bug. If I leave my island right now and go back, it'll be raining and no bugs will spawn anyway, because I already caught the five bugs that are guaranteed to spawn there. So maybe what I need to do is I need to craft an item and see if that can refresh the bugs that are currently going to spawn here. It's just a matter of what do I want to craft. I have no idea. I... I... Oh, I still have my document stack and my scattered papers, huh? So I guess that's what I'll do. I'll use my document stack to craft scattered papers, and hopefully that'll cause some bug to spawn somewhere on this island. And just for good luck, I'll even craft it back, because I prefer having a document stack than scattered papers. I prefer to have a stack of papers than scattered papers. All right, there. I crafted two more items. Did a bug spawn anywhere? If it did, I'm not seeing it, but I'm on the ready. Hmm. But yeah, I am not in a rush to do a series like this, and I probably won't do a series like this ever again. Not, you know, that's not a promise. Maybe they, maybe five, six years from now when we have the next Nintendo system and Nintendo develops another Animal Crossing for it, maybe I'll re-explore this concept. Because there are a lot of things I said I wouldn't do. I didn't even think I was going to buy this game. Alright, I'm not, I was not an Animal Crossing fan, and now I am. And I didn't think I was going to do 100% walkthrough for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but here I am. And then I said, I don't think I'm going to go for X rank in Splatoon 2, and then I did. So, I'm now saying, I don't think I'm going to do a series like this ever again, but we'll see. But my current headspace, like, I'm not going to go back to another Animal Crossing game and do this exact same thing. Not a chance. One of the things that helped me get through this was doing multiplayer videos. If I go back and play an, an older Animal Crossing game, it's outdated and my friends won't be playing it. This is a newer game, so of course more, pe more people are going to be playing it. And it worked out that this game was a bit of a cultural phenomenon. That helped out big time. Helped me get in on the craze and understand a few things and get inspired to do a few things for my own series. Anyway, once this series is over, the plan is to continue my walkthrough for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity until new Pokemon Snap comes out. Then I will change gears to that. Are there seriously no bugs on this island though? This is like frustrating me. I've been walking around in circles for several minutes and there are no bugs. So let me try catching a fish and just one fish right off the pier here. I gotta reposition myself. Excuse me for a moment. I'm not a pro fisherman despite having caught several thousand fish in this series. That's an objective to clear on a different day. Today's day was supposed to be dedicated to the bugs and now I can't even focus on that. All right, let's go. I will take this. Thank you. Red snapper. Good. All right, I caught a fish. I crafted some items. 
Will that cause more bugs to spawn on this island now? My inventory's full. Yeah, whatever. All right, let it go. Back into the water with you. Dude, where are the bugs? I haven't even seen one. If there's one that I saw and I missed, I'm sorry. I, I get the feeling that, that that happens because sometimes I look back over editing and I I see like, oh man, I should have gotten that bug. But that's just how it is sometimes. I could go silent for a moment and see if I spawn any bugs. But dude, I'm not I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing a butterfly, I'm not seeing a ladybug, I'm not seeing a mantis. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe I just gotta go home. Maybe. With any luck, maybe going home will be um, great assistance to me. Maybe there won't be any more rain and I can do my ant spawning trick to cause some more ants to spawn. And then I can be done catching bugs for the day and be done catching bugs for the series. <laughs> maybe. That's, that's the hope. I guess we'll see. I used up a bag of fish bait today. And while that'll make it so that I only have to catch one less fish later... Darn it all, come on, where are the bugs? Can any bugs spawn on my island in the rain? Ugh, it is still raining. In fact, it's raining more now than it was earlier. <sighs> like, I thought the rain was gonna go away that quickly. Well, with any, with any luck, I can sell my items real quickly. So, we can sell the wasp. Oh, I guess I'm selling fewer things than I thought, because I do want to hang on to the eggs. There you go. Sell those. Okay, as for the other items, Perhaps if I stop by my house real quickly and store the items and come back out, that can refresh what bugs will spawn. But the only extra bugs that spawn in the rain are snails. And they're not even all that common. And I'm not entirely certain that they will spawn to begin with. I might need to go buy another Nook Miles ticket, go to another Nook Miles Island, and then finish catching bugs there. I don't know. For now, let's put those items in storage. This document stack... I mean, if I'm going to set it down, it's going to go next to the to the DIY station that's right beside my house. But even then, maybe I do want to hang on to it. Nah, that's okay. Alright, drop that item. We're good. Alright, guys, I'm not seeing any snails. I really... I really can't finish my bug catching today. Ugh, that's so lame! Why?! Why can't ants spawn in the rain? I mean, I get it, they're probably drowning otherwise. But nope, no bugs. No bugs. I wanted today to be the day where I was done bug catching. I was so excited. I'm like, eight bugs away and now there's nothing! Ugh. What is a Yoshiller such as myself to do? I don't know. I already got the five wasps that are guaranteed to spawn on my island. I'm not seeing a single bug spawn atop these flowers, and let me tell you, there's a lot of flowers. I don't know if, like, hermit crabs can start spawning in the rain. I know a wharf roach can still spawn in the rain, but, ugh, I'm just wasting time. I'm running around doing nothing. I'm doing nothing. I wanted to finish catching bugs. Today was supposed to be this momentous occasion, and now, now it's nothing. And if I just catch eight bugs tomorrow, it's not going to matter because I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing other things. That does it. I'm going and I'm buying another Nook Miles ticket and I'm going to another Nook Miles Island and I'm going to hopefully catch eight bugs there or however many it is. All right. Didn't want to have to do this, but I'm doing it. And chances are this isn't going to be the last Nook Miles ticket I purchase. Chances are I'm going to run out of fish bait. I'm going to need to catch like another hundred fish or so and I will do so on a Nook Miles Island. But for the time being, I want to be done with this. Oh, how I'd love to be done with this, so. Okay, let's go to another island. At the very least, this island will have a tree on it, and hopefully it's not Bamboo Island. If I go to any island that's not Bamboo Island, there will be a tree that will have a wasp in it, and I will be one bug closer to completion. And if there's rocks on that island, then it's raining or something, maybe I can catch a snail on that island too. And there, I got Nook Miles for spending Nook Miles. Doesn't matter, but if the game's gonna offer these Nook Miles to me, then I figure, what the hey, I may as well take them. Alright. Alright, so. I will use this Nook Miles ticket and hope for the best. Come on! Just eight more bugs! Eight more bugs! Oh, why did they have to rain on my island today? Darn it! Darn it, man. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I wanna fly. Okay, I've got that Nook Miles ticket. Orville? Let's use that Nook Miles ticket. 
Let's be done catching bugs. Let's have one more thing completed in the series before it finally comes to a close. And then let me close the series. And then let me get back to my regular schedule, darn it. When this series ends, I would like to record Age of Calamity again. Get back to posting that every weekday. Hopefully some whatever Wednesday videos on Wednesdays, and then multiplayer stuff on the weekends. And then new Pokemon Snap will come out, and then I'll take a break from Hyrule Warriors. I'll record new Pokemon Snap. By the time I'm done with new Pokemon Snap, I will go back to Age of Calamity, and the DLC for the game will probably come out. And then Age of Calamity will keep me occupied for a long time, until whatever other game I want to walk through comes out. In fact, I even have a whole walkthrough that's recorded that I haven't even uploaded yet. It's for a multiplayer game, so I will post that, presumably once Age of Calamity is done. But the, oh, well the first thing I gotta do, I gotta do this everything else part. I gotta do the final bonus video for my Super Mario 3D World walkthrough. That's the big one. All right, now which of these trees has a wasp in it? I'm so glad I came here and it's not raining and I already caught two bugs, that's awesome. But now I gotta get the wasps. This tree, this one had a tree branch. I mean, that's nice and all, but I need, I need the wasp. That's not this one. Kinda thankful it wasn't that one. My perspective was slightly obstructed by a different tree. All right, how about this one, huh? Not that one. Okay, it's not, oh, well, a butterfly, I don't mind if I do. Okay, we're good, we're getting there. Already three bugs, we're, we're hauling it. Today's gonna be the day I'm finally done with this achievement, guys. There we go. Thank you. Alrighty, almost done. Got the wasp. Now I've got a couple of different options if I wanna try and get bugs here. I mean, obviously I can wait for more butterflies to spawn. In fact, there's even one up there. And considering how desperate I am, and considering the fact that this might be the last day where I ever have to catch bugs, I'm going for it. So here we go. And hoppa! Thank you very much. Okay. Good, good, good. So, wait, is that it? Was that my 5,000th bug? Oh yeah! Give me that stamp! The last bug I ever caught, and it was one of the most generic of them all. I have now got... Complete metamorphosis! Yeah! One of the words is complete. That's pretty fun. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. A year later, I caught 5,000 bugs. Technically, if I didn't have to send in my Switch for repairs, I could have done it in less than a year. But oh great. Uh, all, all right. Let me, let me get this deep sea creature for good luck. I've still got some time. I just cleared out my inventory. Oh! Oh! It feels so good to be done catching bugs. I can start the next video and see a butterfly and not have to do a thing about it. I can finally move the rotten turnips off my island and not have to worry about ant spawning. I don't have to worry about an ant spawning trick ever again. I don't have to catch a tarantula if I see one. I can just run away from it. I technically don't even need to have the net out anymore. Although I will if the cherry blossoms come back. But oh, it's so glorious. It's so relieving! Oh, it's... I mean, I guess satisfying is an appropriate word. I don't feel... I, you know, like, there's a difference between doing this achievement and then winning, like, an intense match of Super Smash Brothers or Splatoon. It doesn't feel vigorating, you know? It just... It just feels done. <laughs> because now I just moved on to the next thing. I'm just getting a couple deep sea creatures. I'm not really working toward a specific number. I just figured I have some extra time. May as well catch some deep sea creatures. I mean, I haven't hit the hour mark yet for today's video. But I guess I could call it quits early. Let me get... Okay. Well, there's a deep sea creature here. I'll get this one real quickly. And then I'll get that deep sea creature in the back. And then maybe I'll get one more deep sea creature after that. And then I'll call it quits for the day. But man! There we go. I knocked out my Nook Miles achievement for getting deep sea creatures. That's not even why I did this. I just saw bubbles in the water and was like, Alright, I may as well get some deep sea creatures. Great. Alright, let me get this deep sea creature. And yeah, all I gotta do now is fish and deep sea dive. And then fine tune my island. Oh, it feels so good to finally be done with it! I'm a little surprised that bug catching was done first, but at the same time I'm not. Bug catching is a lot easier. But it's, you can't lure them in. I'm at 2116. I mean, it'd be nice to get four more deep sea creatures real quickly so I could be at 2120. Let's see if I can do that real quickly. Let's get the two one twos. Ah, but two one ones. I mean, how quickly are these deep sea creatures going to appear? Because this is already going to be a tough to get deep sea creature based on the bubble configuration. So if I just got to chase this one down, yep, there it goes, right into my hands. All right, I'll take that. 
So now I'm at 2117. All right, I mean, maybe if the deep sea creatures are like that and they just swim right to me, I'll get three more deep sea creatures real quickly. But yeah, guys, get ready. This is basically a preview of the next five or six Animal Crossing New Horizons videos where I just swim around and get a bunch of deep sea creatures. But I, I'm a little surprised that bug catching ended first because I was trying to do bug catching throughout the winter months and bugs do not spawn then. That should have been the time where I really just hammered down the fishing and then I saved bug catching for, for March. But even then I went to one of these Nook Miles Islands and bugs just were not spawning. So either way, this is how things played out. I could always say shoulda, woulda, coulda. But bug catching is done. So at least when the series comes to a close, I can say that I officially caught 5,000 bugs. I caught every bug in the game, and I unlocked the tags of complete metamorphosis. I have a complete critterpedia. I caught 5,000 bugs. I don't have a reason to catch another bug. I've got plenty of bug models, too. And Flick will send me a moth model in the mail tomorrow. Otherwise, I guess that's it. Yep, 2120. Great. So this whole quest of deep sea diving and fishing... That will pick up tomorrow. And how am I doing on fishing? I, I got a lot to go, but I'll get it done. For now, that wraps up today's video of Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I'd like to thank you all for watching, especially if you joined all this time and just watched me catch these 5,000 bugs over the course of the series. It feels good for it to be done. I know I'm ending this video a few minutes earlier than usual, but you know what? I'm going to take it. All right. Buh bye bye humans. Whoosh. Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye. Whoosh.